uh, next is V48 vasectomy. The five-year-old man attends your outpatient clinic requesting a vasectomy. What specific assessment do you take? Obviously, it's a medical legal cause, so we have to assess the patient's uh, need and discuss alternative uh, methods. Has he, has he completed the family? Does he want another family? His previous uh, neurological history, his history while he was a baby. And then we will assess a comorbidity and fitness for the surgery. Um, I will do a clinical examination if I can feel the vas and uh, determine the recommendation of local or GA. Um, undertake a general discussion of surgical technique tailored to the individual and explain the risk. What would you concern this patient? So one, inform the success of the procedure compared to alternatives. It is more effective than all other methods. Risks, acute bleeding, hematoma infection and chronic failure, late failure, chronic pain. Irreversibility, the need to continue to use an alternative form of contraception until negative semen analysis is performed. And uh, how would you perform a vasectomy? There are various techniques scalpel versus no touch and no skeletal technique. There is evidence that facial interposition, intraluminal diathermy, and surgical experience are superior in reducing failure rates due to the recanalization. How would you follow up the patient based on? Um, Semen analysis will be performed on one way and after minimum of 12 weeks and after minimum of 20 ejaculation, data and 20 ejaculation, 80% of the men should uh, show azospermia. Uh, patients are likely to fail to provide the single sample at 16 weeks as compared to 12 weeks. Assessment of a single sample is acceptable to confirm vasectomy success if all recommendations and laboratory methodology are met and no sperm are observed. What would you do if this semen analysis at 12 weeks showed the following a volume of 2 mil and 1000 non motile sperm per high power field? I would ask the patient has been ejaculating more and uh, repeat analysis after 4 to 6 weeks. It's likely that the patient is sterilized, but this would be worth confirming on further analysis. What is a special clearance? The level for a special clearance should be uh, less than 100,000 non motile sperm on 2 consecutive sperm counts after minimum 7 months following vasectomy. Special clearance cannot be provided if any motile sperm are observed and should only be given for after assessment of two samples in full accordance and lies with the method specified in the laboratory guidelines. Okay. Men who have persistent low volume and non motile sperm in this may be given special clearance to stop using the other form of contraception provided they are counseled regarding the risk of pregnancy. What if a semen analysis showed a volume of 3 mil 5 motile sperm per high fold? This should be a case of failure due to a low number of ejaculation to clear the ejaculation. Uh, track, I would warn the patient of failure and the possible need for repeat vasectomy if a subsequent sample confirmed motile sperm.